Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel where you can learn everything there is to know about customizing your Android home screen. Now for some, they might be using that one-click home screen customization app called Thema, but for the rest, I don't know, maybe your device isn't supported or maybe you just don't enjoy it, well then you're stuck with me. Yes, that is right, I'll be still be doing Android home screen tutorials, so let us begin with today's home screen tutorial. Let us begin. Great, so like I said, I'll be going through a home screen tutorial for this very video. And as you can tell, wow, what a home screen it is. It is by the author The Next, and it is titled Goo Now. So as you can tell, it's got a very clean, minimal, very elegant looking setup here. As you can tell, it's got your time, it's got your calendar information, it's got your alarm information, your battery at the top there. A little bit more down, you've got some of your jump to shortcuts, such as your settings, your messages, some media apps, such as your music, your camera, as well as your images. And you can easily get to them just by selecting them and it'll bring it up just like that. So very easy to do. You've got all of your weather information here. It looks really, really good. But what probably sets this theme out the most is this little slide out draw on the left hand side and you'll see now. So if I swipe across, there it is, boom, comes up with a awesome, awesome looking side draw here. It's got your app draw here that brings you up into your app draw. It's got all of your jump to little quick applications that say if you wanted to jump right into the Play Store, you can just select it and there it is. It'll bring it up just like that. Now just take note that this will be using Lightning Launcher for this very setup. If you don't use Lightning Launcher, you probably can get a very similar setup in either say SS Launcher or Nova Launcher, Apex Launcher, whatever else that you're using. However, you won't get this awesome looking slide out draw just like this. So just take note of that and in this video I'll be going through the lightning launcher setup. So without any further ado, let us begin with this lightning launcher setup. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing for this very setup. So first up, the apps that you'll be needing, definitely, definitely your launcher will be Lightning Launcher here. Like I said, other launchers can still work, but I highly recommend Lightning Launcher for this very setup. Next up, you'll be needing is UCCW, this one over here, also free, and it's an amazing app. It's very simple to use, and it pretty much works on almost all devices. So that's pretty much that out of the way. Finally, you'll be needing a good file explorer. I do recommend ES File Explorer, also because it's free and it's very, very easy to use. You're welcome to copy files over using your computer, but I just tend to stick to uh, File Explorer. So once you've got all your apps out of the way, then we can begin with setting up your Lightning Launcher or restoring its backup file. And in order to do that, we're gonna jump right into our Lightning Launcher. Okay, I've already got this set up. But what you wanna do is, however your Lightning Launcher looks, say if it's the first time using it, you just need to look for a blank area, hold down on it, and select Customize Lightning. Now from here, like I said, if this is the first time doing it, you need to create a backup folder in your phone's directory. So from here, you want to select Backup. It's going to create a backup of whatever screen you're running. It doesn't really matter at all. All you want is to create that backup folder, and we'll get to that right now. So I'm just going to minimize this right now. I want to go into my ES File Explorer. And I'm just going to be going through what backup file you need to copy into your Lightning Launcher folder. Great, so once you've got all those apps installed onto your device, you want to check in the link in the description below for the, the GUNAL uh, zip file that you need to download either onto your computer or straight onto your phone and then extract it either using some type of unzipping software, whatever works best for you. But what you do want to do is to copy, once you've extracted it, is to copy that folder, that GUNAL folder onto your phone. And as you can see, I've just pasted it here. And if I select it, as you can see, it's got all the necessary resources that are needed for this very setup. Now the one that's most important is the one called Backup. If you're going to be using Lightning Launcher as this is the Lightning Launcher Backup file. And I'm just going to go into that Lightning Launcher folder and there it is. This is the file that you're going to be using for that very backup. So I'm just going to hold down on it. I'm going to select Copy. I'm going to select Back. And I'm just going to go into my main directory here. So the one called SD card right there. And I'm going to now look for hopefully a file or folder that's been created called Lightning Launcher. If you've successfully done that backup. So from here, I'm just going to go into it, and here's all my necessary backups that I've done recently. And I'm just going to select Paste, and now it's just going to paste that backup into that area, and that is the one that you want to have. So I'm just going to minimize it once again, as now we're going to jump right into restoring that Lightning Launcher backup, and it's very easy to do. You simply have to go back into your Lightning Launcher and just hold down on your home screen or wherever there's some blank space, and you want to select Customize Lightning. 
Now, once again, you're going to scroll down again, but now you're not going to select backup this time around. No, you're going to be selecting restore. That's right. Now you're going to be selecting the restore file, that one that you've just copied onto your phone. And that's that one that's 2013, 10, 12. I'm just going to select it now and it's going to well, basically restore that backup. Now, don't worry now if it looks like this, it might look a bit weird and strange, but that just means that you need to restore all of those UCCW widgets onto your various home screens like there and there. So hopefully you've done this correctly and everything should look like this as now we're going to be jumping into customizing these UCCW widgets. Great, so in order to set up these UCCW skins, there's two ways of going about this. If you've got a Nexus 4, an unrooted one, like the one that I'm using here, then you just have to do this one extra step. However, if you're running a uh, standard 720p resolution phone, such as a Galaxy S3, or even a rooted Nexus 4, the one that can hide the navigation bar at the bottom, then you can skip this step. But however, Nexus 4 guys, you want to scroll down here so that there's some free space, and you want to hold down and now select Customize Lightning. From here, you want to go into your current desktop and from here, you want to scroll a bit down and you want to get into this one called Layout. Once that's open, you want to be selecting this one over here called Free Mode and it is a bit scary as it pretty much makes it free gridless setup and it can get a bit daunting, but don't worry. As long as you're careful, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to be selecting back now. Remember other resolutions, you might not have to do that, but keep in mind that if you can't get it looking too good, then free mode is definitely the option. So I'm just going to select back now and now we're ready to start adding in these UCCW skins. So now once again, we're just going to scroll to the bottom, hold down on the home screen and select edit layout. Now, as you can see, all this grid starts up here. Might look a bit scary, but don't worry. It's very easy to set up all of these. I'm just going to scroll a bit up now so I can get to this first one and I'm simply going to have to hold down on it and select select another widget. So I'm going to bring that up. It's going to bring up all the widgets that you can select. But all I want to do is select a UCCW. It doesn't matter at all what size you choose. As I found this out, you can say choose a one by one and it's still going to make it look pretty much that size. Now from here, you're going to be selecting this top right hand option here called use up. And once that's selected, you want to make sure that you go into your Go Now folder. There it is over here. You just need to navigate to it. Once that's open, you want to go into the folder called UCCW as this is where all the UZIPs are kept. Now, if you're the first time using UCCW, don't try and unzip these files or extract them or anything. You don't have to worry. UCCW knows exactly what to do with these. So for the first one, it's that one that comes with the time and the date and everything. You're just going to be selecting that one over there and it's going to import it into that area. All you have to do now is select the back button to get out of the edit layout. And from here, you just need to select the hand and it's hopefully going to put it up and set it up all nice like that. Now, as you can see, because I have a unrooted Nexus for my resolution, doesn't fit too well on this. But like I said, that's what the free mode's for. But I'm going to get to that a bit later. So all you have to do now is scroll down once again and repeat the process. You're going to go edit layout like that. You're going to hold down on the one beneath it on the left hand side and now say select another widget. So again, you're going to go to any other size of a UCCW. I'm not even going to look, say, a 1x4. And you can go from a user up here once again. And now you're going to select number 2. Now, it might seem a bit confusing as you're not too sure which ones you to add. But don't worry, I'm just going to explain that right now. I'm just going to select back again, select the hand again, and there it is added. So I think the numbering goes 1, 2, 3, 4... I think five, six, seven, like that. And this is pretty much the process for this first screen. So I'm just gonna skip to once I've added in all of these. So I'll let you guys do this on your own and I'll catch you up in a little while. Great, so as you can tell, having an unrooted Nexus 4 does come with its disadvantages, as well as if you have a phone that comes with a different resolution. As you can tell, it doesn't really look too good. There are a bit of some weird spaces. So in order to correct that, Lightning Launcher does come up with a little trick up its sleeve. And in order to do that, you want to hold down and select Edit Layout once again. Now remember, if you've got a standard 720p resolution phone, you probably won't have to do this and you can simply skip the step. But it's always good to know for future reference. What you'd want to do is say if you wanted to make these two closer together, um, you can do this by just selecting on one of them, say selecting it once again. This will now bring up a different style of arrow that you might be used to if you've ever used Lightning Launcher before as this is pretty much the free edit mode here and it will allow you to just say resize it pretty much without any restrictions of its aspect ratio. As you can tell, you can make it a little bit bigger like this 
and as you can tell it's getting a little wider so if I move it again you want to do it to the left hand side only I think I think if you do it the other way it changes the aspect ratio but as you can tell it's starting to look a lot better now obviously you don't want it too fat otherwise it'll just change it'll make it all look distorted so you want it a little bit thinner like that now you can just select the other weather one select it once again make sure that it's sitting flush against the side like that well in line with the one at the top and you can also resize that just to make sure that that looks a lot better so if I tap back now as you can tell it's actually starting to come together if I tap back again it's starting to look a lot better so all you'd have to do is to say if you wanted to edit all of them you just need to hold down edit layout and you can just do this to the rest of them as well so save this music one or well, this media one over here make sure that's on that free edit one here and I can just pull it apart a little bit like this remember try not to distort it too much and as you can see it's starting to come together so all I'm going to do now is just resize them so they all look pretty much in line and in order and I'll come back to you in a short while great so I think that looks a whole lot better as you can tell it's still not touching the sides too much but I didn't want to distort it too much and everything would just look wide and it just wouldn't look good at all I also took it on the liberty to add in the rest of that UCCWs there was that one at the top I think that was number eight and there's pretty much this whole blue area that would be number nine and I also just resized them accordingly to make them fit my Nexus 4 and it actually wasn't too bad so all you'd have to be left to do now is to hold down at the bottom area once again this time I'm going into customize lightning whereby you want to go into your current desktop you want to go into your wallpaper and background um, for some reason I don't think the, the wallpaper changed and might have changed for you into that white color but for now I'm just gonna be changing it anyway I'm just gonna go into change the system wallpaper go into your favorite or pre preferred gallery app I'm gonna go into quick pick and you're gonna look for that folder called wallpaper hopefully you've copied it onto your phone it's pretty much just white if you can get any other white wallpaper it's pure white of all might be a little bit of a tint there but I'm just gonna see what it looks like let's see and go back out of this and yep that looks pretty good so that is pretty much the setup complete a few things left to do now say if you don't use some of these applications what happens if I don't get, say use PixArt say if I wanted to use WhatsApp instead all I'd have to do now is hold down on this icon here I can now choose either say pick an app to launch um, if this is currently blank all you'd have to do is select this little refresh button here and it'll just refresh all the apps I don't know for some reason mine was blank and I just had to refresh it like that now all I have to do is scroll all the way across and look for the one called WhatsApp as now what happens if I select that app it'll now open up WhatsApp but now I want to change that icon and title so I'm just gonna hold down on it again and select customize from here I can now say select an icon and I can always go into my icon pack like this and look for the one called Manigen. you're also welcome to just use whatever icons that you want but this is a whole lot easier now I'm just gonna look for the WhatsApp there it is over there as you can see it's changed and it looks a whole lot better and I can hold on once again go into customize once again and now select custom text now this is great because now I can just rename PixArt to whatever else I wanted it to be but I'm just gonna keep it as WhatsApp for now so this is C there it is like that I'm gonna select OK and select back and easy as that I've now changed this icon to open up my whatsapp or whatever else that I would want I can select back now and that is pretty much that done you're also welcome to edit each one of the UCCW shortcuts here so say if you don't want to open up next music when you select that all you'd have to do is say select it now this will bring up your UCCW editor if not then that means your lock widgets mode is on and in order to turn it off you simply have to go into UCCW within your app drawer Go into your options at the top here, lock widgets, and make sure that this is off. Otherwise, you won't be able to get into your editor here. From here, you can go into your edit objects. And from here, you can go into your hotspots. From here, I'd select hotspot number three. That means that it's going to open up my next music. That's that one at the top. So I'm just going to select hotspot number three like this. Good job on the author here that he's already set up all these hotspots. So remember, if I wanted to change that third one at the top there, I'm just going to go into my hotspot once again. Go and jump it right into my app option and I'm going to scroll down see if I wanted to choose play music instead so I'm just going to scroll and there is play music over here I'm just going to select it so now it's being configured to when I select that music button it's going to open up the play music so what you want to do now is to configure each one of the individual UCCW skins in order to do this and then once you're happy with all of them you can go back into your menu either at the top there or at the bottom if you're using say a Samsung or any other device go into your lock widgets and make sure that you turn it on now it's going to happen is say if I want to select that music icon and bring up my play music 
just select it like that and easy as that my play music now gets selected with some awesome looking music right there and that is the home screen complete guys thank you very much guys for watching if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already also don't forget to check out our various social media sites such as facebook google plus twitter instagram etc as yeah we always enjoy helping you guys out also don't forget that we have our new app out called Thema Beta. Like I said, it's still currently in beta, but you definitely want to go check it out on the Google Play Store. Sign right up, get your code, put it in, and it's a fantastic one-click home screen customization app. But other than that, thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco here from My Color Screen, and as always, don't stop customizing.